Hey there, a little tired, but let's see if I can do this. Uh, is night one of WrestleMania weekend with this special What The Wrestling coverage. I basically will, am giving my thoughts over what I had recently seen like this morning. All right, well, let's move on then. Let's get this started with Austin Theory versus John Cena. Now, for a while, I thought, uh, for a while, I thought Austin Theory was wrestling himself because I couldn't see John Cena. Uh, jokes aside, John did very well to showcase what showcase what Austin Theory could do, and allowed the champ to keep his title. And get a solid win and push. So that that was really nice. That was great. Honestly, it, it, no sane person would have booked it differently. Because with John Cena just showing up from time to time, he's good to push people, not just giving him one more glory thing. So that, that was a good thing to do for Austin Theory, I think. Next was a WrestleMania showcase, uh, which means it was a match that didn't really wasn't really for anything, as far as I could tell. Uh, maybe in story you could argue that well they won the showcase, so they can be considered uh, uh, in the running for titles and stuff. But it was the tag teams of Braun Strowman and Ricochet, the Viking Raiders, the Alpha Academy. And the Street Profits. I mean, it was close calls all around. Lots of fun little action that you get from big, uh, multiple team wrestling. And ultimately, it was the Street Profits that pulled out the win. And, well, it, it was good fun. Uh, so now we're getting into the ones that I can give more detail to because I was a bit more invested in like Seth Rollins Seth friggin Rollins we're going up against Logan Paul I'll be all I'll be honest it I, the whole time this whole time I was watching it I was just the whole time the whole story was being pushed I was just hoping I would get to see Logan Paul getting curb stomped on his birthday. Uh, and well, coming down to the ring, a, they did a fun full choir entrance for Seth Rollins. With, oh, 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 oh. Anyway, full choir. That was pretty darn awesome. <sighs> I stated bef this before, but I hate how good Logan Paul actually is in the ring. <clears throat> it, um, we must never forget how much of a complete, real-life, horrible person he is. But anyway, Paul kept trying to um, hit with his titanium fist, the, the bolt he has in there that they have... Uh, build as a knockout punch. He kept trying for that, but uh, Seth Rollins had it well sc scouted and uh, mostly was able to avoid it. Eventually he did land a blow and but that was only after Rollins had managed to do a curb stomp on the steel steps onto Logan Paul's hand. So when he did land it it also hurt him, and he wasn't able to immediately make the cover. And since he wasn't able to make the cover right away, Rollins was able to kick out. Later, it turns out, Logan Paul's little uh, prime bottle mascot that came down to the ring with him was his business partner KSI the whole time and it tried to help him I uh, tried to help Paul but ultimately he KSI was put through the announcers table 
And uh, eventually, R Rollins, he got the um, curb stomp and the win, and I got my wish. So, yay. Next, we had Damage Control versus Lita, Trish Stratus, and the man, Becky Lynch. They had a cool vignette and entrance for Lita, Trish, and Becky. Kind of a noir and cinematic, almost comic booky kind of thing. Or hokey 90s movie, question mark? Anyway, it, it was fun to watch. Uh, they kept, the announcers kept pushing the idea, and you could see in the match that they were selling Damage Control's experience, the time they've spent as a team, as a great factor on why they're able to hold their own, even at times surpass the uh, two legends and one half of the women's champions, uh, tag champs. And, uh, It, it, it was really close. It was drama all the way through. But after a manhandle slam, Lita, Trish, and Becky got the win. And we move on. After many, many months, Rey Mysterio finally went up against his son, Dominic. Father and son, as Rey attempted to teach his son a lesson... At one point, uh, Ray took parts of his costume off to l actually spank Dominic in a moment where he was vulnerable. Literally spanking. It was kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Uh, a big brawl broke out between the Judgment Day and Legato del Fantasma. Because Judgment Day came out to try to help Dom and... Legato had no, they didn't have that. They were like, we'll stop that. Uh, Bad Bunny came from the announcer table eventually and prevented Dom from using, from being able to cheat with a steel chain, which was, which gave Ray an opening, an opening for a 619, an opening, uh, 619, then a splash, which got him the pen. Later, Charlotte Flair went up against Rhea Ripley for the SmackDown's Women's Championship. Well, Charlotte was defending for the SmackDown Women's Championship. After a long fight and many close calls on both sides, Rhea won cleanly, surprisingly won cleanly, with a rip tied from the top rope after Charlotte wound up giving her the opportunity with a... Uh, with a hit in the corner there that laid Charlotte out. Anyway, Rhea was able to hit the riptide from the top rope and pin Charlotte for the to become the new champ. Next, we had a surprise match as The Miz came out to say a bunch of stuff with his co-host partner for the night, uh, Snoop Dogg. Well, at one point he mentioned that it was a shame that he didn't have a match at WrestleMania, but nobody answered his open challenge. Which, according to Mac, uh, Pat McAfee, who came out, uh, Miz didn't issue an open challenge over social media like he said. We, he didn't see it. But, since you have an open challenge, I'm answering! And so it wound up being Pat McAfee versus The Miz after Miz was trying to get out of it, saying as, the, as a host of WrestleMania, he doesn't have the power to make matches official. But apparently Snoop Dogg did. And did. After various antics, McAfee wound up winning after a kick to the crotch, not considered a disqualification, Actually, because they never didn't really caught it 
or think about it in the writing, but I'd like to say it wasn't a disqualification because Miz's balls are so tiny that they didn't actually hit Miz in the balls. He missed it entirely, so therefore no disqualification. That's just a kick, kick to the groin area. Anyway, on to the main event. We had Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens versus the Uto, Usos. Utos? Who the hell are the Uso? Utos? Yeah, I get it right when I... Yeah. Anyway, Usos. The tag team titles were on the line as brothers fought brothers. KO Mania and WrestleZania. Ha... <laughs> fun. Sammy yeah. Sammy kicked out of the 1D, which had never ever happened before. No one's ever done it. KO kicked out of the Uso Splash. The match went on and on and eventually but eventually we got a spot where after three Haluva kicks from Sami Zayn K.O. Zania, as I like to coin it, won the tag team titles. And that ended up with, that ended night one of WrestleMania. I'm planning on continuing on with this. Hopefully I get this one up before the second. But if I don't, it'll be really early in second. And then... No, no, the third. I get it up before the third, if not really early in the third. Then, hopefully, also on the third, I will get night. I will watch night two on the Peacock replays because I was, I was busy. Uh, Ian and I we went to see the Dungeons and Dragons movie. We'll talk more about that later. Anyway. I'll see night two, uh, record my thoughts about it, and uh, get that up there, hopefully tomorrow, or real soon. Anyway, and when I, when I do, here for viewers, I'll see you in the ring.